that's a halfway point and that should be all the latitudes and it's 30 wires because that had the two zero values in the latitudes So originally when I did this program it was all about uh, what bees were threaded for each wire uh, and the counts uh, were about distribution at the end. Uh, I wanted to make sure that aesthetically we didn't have sort of uh, 64 wires through this bead and one wire through this bead at the end uh, so then I could swap whole bites around or rotate every second bit and I didn't really mind messing up the data or something as long as it was something that could be programmatically fixed at the other end without actually needing the data to restore it. Um, it was actually very helpful though during the threading uh, to have a constant count of wires to check uh, even when it got late like this it's a rather arbitrary one but it's nearly all the way through for 13 of 16 uh, floats uh, this one here, three, so I could always go check well, for this one, that, that, that's up to three, so there's some that are still pretty easy to count, uh, even towards the end of the wiring. So uh, yeah, that, that's something I didn't anticipate that ended up very helpful later, uh, so yeah, that was good. But um, there isn't any real further use for this. There's a completed memory. It stopped being fun after a while, but I thought I'd show you um, all the opportunities there. Uh, it'll be tied up for a while in a physical jig. Uh, yeah, while well, I guide these wires, figure out what to do with them, I've got some idea. But uh, I'm going to uh, assemble it like this with the cores upside down. Uh, program it that way as well, and only mount standoffs and fold the board over. Uh, when the software is done, once it dumps its memory, I don't think there'll be a revision to. <laughs> uh, I didn't bother with the wiring for in circuit serial programming, so uh, I've done a carrier board for um, 28 pin mid range pick, namely 16F876A, uh, and I can uh, throw that on the pile with the others. It's for pick kit 2. So something like this, and then I'm planning a few more of these guides as well. Let's hold it down here, hold the cable in place, another one on the other side, and they're not supposed to be uh, unpluggable or anything like that. You know, if I ever needed to change a, a chip, I uh, should just be able to open the top board out again after taking the screws off the standoffs. And I'll have to find a way to connect uh, all these secondaries. So there's 16 more connection from the transformer secondaries to make to these brass pins. I'm um, considering using this uh, rainbow cable. There's halfway done with the uh, interconnect wiring across the board. So um, this side of these capacitors all share the same ground connection. Uh, so I can't really test them for shorts. Uh, across each other, so I just have to be careful. So I've uh, got some 32 more connections to make on this side of the board, and then I can move on to the secondary 16 connections. There's all the address lines connected through to shift registers. So now it's off to the 16 wires connecting the transformer primaries through to the brass pins and that's really the hardware done. Here's the two cables for the output transformers uh, that both just fold over too. And um, that's what puts back the order of the bits. Uh, this one was off or reversed for one channel, so bit 0 is here and bit 0 for the other channel is here and these are the cables that swap them back and connect both bit zeros to the zero bit of both ports and all along the way up to bit 7 so hopefully the bytes arrive in the correct order. Here's the actual data I'm trying to save, Australian Capital Cities, it's just that line so I should be able to comment that out and just declare an empty array. I could go on to store these in EEPROM since there's a microcontroller 
controlling it. I might as well uh, dump the core ROM and then dump the contents of EEPROM from the controller and do this as well. I could just go and buy a chip with double the program memory, but uh, that's beside the point, I suppose. So it's nearing the end if you're still keeping up. I think uh, the next one should be working.